Okay, let's just go ahead and reset that. Alrighty, here we go. Oh. There we go. This name isn't gonna matter for very much, but just for the sake of it, let's put it in there. wake up. Well, tossing and turning, it's obvious he's alive. Mary. Gaholic Island. Name's Taren. Hope you're feeling better. What? How do I know your name? I think it's weird, eh? Well, I saw it on the back of the shield. Thanks, buddy. First things first. Gotta put it on the button I like to have it on. Okay, well, I guess, uh... Alright. Don't expect any kind of speedrunning stress from me, because, uh... Technically not a speedrunner yet! Ha <laughs> ha! Fucking levers. So you are the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand what the bosses just started to act so violently. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. He said that you cannot leave this island unless you wake the windfish. You should go north to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there. Woo! we need to. So, okay, I didn't expect that to bite me. But whatever game, we make the rules. I just play it. If I'm not mistaken, because I haven't played this game since it came out on 3DS. Uh, there's a 
heart limit of 16 in the game. There are eight dungeons. As we can see here. And... Which would mean... There are five hearts that are available through uh, heart pieces. And I don't remember where they're all at. Welcome to the mysterious woods. Much mystery you will find on this uncharted Koholint Island. I'm afraid you may find it a trifle difficult to leave the island when the windfish naps. By the by, have you ever visited the Tail Cave, which is south of the village? Go there with the key you find in this forest. The windfish is watching. How can the windfish be watching and asleep at the same time, asshole? Explain yourself. Actually, I feel like dicking around a little bit. Though I should probably raise some money first. Because, um... Uh... Oh, hey. Secret seashells. Uh, you get the second sword for collecting at least 20 of them. But along the way, you can, uh... If you go to the seashell house, they'll give you different shit. Okay, the trading sequence starts here. Trendy game! One play for 10 rupees! I'm too broke for that. Uh, if you want to fuck with the dog, you can slash your sword at it, but it won't get pissed and attack you. I mean, if you want to be an absolute cretin, I mean, go right on ahead. Actually, uh, one of the speedrunning strats, funny that I mentioned that, uh, requires that you kill a couple dogs with the uh, magic powder. Now I get the Yoshi doll. Race is just timing. Go over the buttons and play. Good luck. The thing it doesn't tell you is that uh, you only have, you know, Moving to the right, and moving down. And you can only do one. Once. Recently, he seems to be showing up in many games. Fucking derg. I think I can come up here. Pretty sure the, the uh, story behind it is the the kids crying. Need to give him something to shut up. Make up jewels, dresses. I want it all. <sighs> and some new accessories would be nice. Oh, that ribbon. I need it. Will you trade for my dog food? Okay, this dog is able to speak English. It's full of juicy beef. I bet it isn't. Yet yeah, this fucking chain chomp named Bow Wow is, you know, unable to speak at all. Because of reasons. Uh, 
Now. The Tanuki. I've got to scrub his balls. Do, uh... Do oh, hey! Guardian Acorn. This music is annoying. I mean, yeah, the effect is cool, but kind of retarded. Because it, it ends after, like, five or six screen transitions. Or entering <coughs> a building. Lovely. Fucked by a bat. Fifty rupees. All right. That's a good start. And we can't get that until we get the power bracelet from level two. So we just have no other recourse than to ignore it. Mellow aroma flows into your nostrils. Oh. I think that treasure chest is just more rupees, which we're gonna need. Well, we've got two options when it comes to uh, what we use our money on. We can either spend it all on the two most expensive items in the game. Or we could, you know, cheese it and steal the items. Which will get us killed. And a name change on the file as well. piece of power that's kind of nice basically bumps up your um your swords level and also gives you a speed boost oh shit we can't go that way either uh something i should note about the piece of power and the guardian acorn is that their effects will be cloned in special equipment we can get later in the game. But if we come over here, we can actually... Sleepy Toadstool. There's not much there. 20. It's like, if you use it right, you never need any more. Although there comes a point where, um, you can actually find some just randomly. Well, not randomly, but they're in very set locations. And they require the, uh, Rock's Feather to jump to. Wanted to talk to him. Last thing I could remember was biting into a big juicy toadstool. Then I had the darndest dream. I was a raccoon. Yeah, sounds strange, but it sure was fun. I mean, my balls got real big. Oh, Tucker, that I think I better set a spell before I head home. Hey, Key. I'm stupid. Retrieve the instrument that's hidden there. Go now. The windfish is awaiting. Woo! There's a whole lot of nothing really this way, but I wouldn't come here anyway. Actually, I can't even go into the swamp. Not without a piece of power, at least. Or Bow Wow. Spoiler alert. Bow Wow. Damn it. 
That's money, though. Whoa, buddy. Can I get the uh, heart piece from the fishing game yet? Yes, I understand. I want the one that's directly under where I'm at because uh, he's gonna have a heart piece for me. All right, fine. Yes, I understand. Shut up. That's a big one. And he's got a piece of heart, too. He's got 20 of proof of prize on top of that. Nope. Broke even. Live a little. Shut up. Oh, what am I doing? I actually have to play the game now. Might as well take the money. Mm. Oh. That's yeah, gonna do me absolutely no good. Fucking mold arms. Told you it wasn't gonna do me any good. A new feature, a tone will tell you the key is hidden in the room. It's only a new feature if you are considering the other games in the Zelda series. Because up to this point, we only had the original, The Adventure of Link, and Link of the Past. And really, the uh, boop, 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 boop was only a uh, thing in the three Game Boy, well, the three pre-advanced Game Boy games, because Minish Cap doesn't have that either. And I don't have any bombs. Though I could get some. I guess I could probably show this little tidbit off. If you stab the wall, you'll hear a different sound based on the uh, whether or not there's a thing behind it. And I don't even want the acorn. Should I do anything? Yeah, I can. Because it's a uh, push block. Ooh, piece of power. I'll take that. And anyone that knows this game probably knows what power I'm going to take from the color dungeon.
Goomba, because for some reason they decided to put a bunch of Mario characters into this game. Yep, that's what I was talking about with the uh, flying items. Ow. And this is my default A button item. Because you will almost never not need the Rock's Feather. And it's just a good item in general. Gives you a bunch of shortcuts, really. Okay. Not sure what happened there. But whatever you say, game. effect actually ends after you take so many hits. I don't know. I, I haven't played this game in a couple years, like I said before. So Some of the rules are uh, a little hazy in my head. Fucking Stalfos. Oh. Well, thank you, Derby. At last, of course we found the map, so. Well, I guess we can come over here. I don't even know why I picked that up. The idea behind these things is you gotta get them to match suit. Club again. Fuck. Yeah, I got a freaking acorn. <laughs> For all the good that's not worth. Because I actually kind of... Well, to an extent, I like the uh, dungeon music more than I like this repetitive shit. You know, the dungeon music is pretty repetitive and shitty in some places. Fuck! Well, they're both clubs now, so... Yes, those are spades. There we go. Oh, wow. That's not something that was obvious or anything. Well, I wanted to get spin attack. Damn it. Mini boss will always drop a fairy, which is kind of nice. Well, that's morbid. I think that's just the return from the uh, boss. And I don't have the nightmare key yet, so. Mm, Finally, the fucking music ended. That's how you get up here, and I think this is the name. Yep.
And I can't get over to that other room, which has, I think, 75 rupees in it? Oh, because I don't have any bombs. Which I can buy or steal from the shop. But where's the fun in that, right? This this outsider. Whoa, fucker. Go figure, the third boss from Link to the Past is made into the first boss of Link's Awakening. And somehow they made him more annoying. That was a close one. Not gonna lie. The full moon cello. Which sounds nothing like a cello. Swamp. A path opens in the blue rooms. That's an instrument of the sirens! I have to admit, first I did not believe you were the real. That instrument, along with the seven others in the set, has the power to wake the windfish. You must collect them all. Okay. I was instructed to give you the directions. Your next goal is north in the Gobonga Swamp. Goponga Swamp. There. <laughs> Ooh, indeed! I can words. I words goodly. Hey, buddy. Yeah, it's serious. Moblands. Moblands. Ah! Might be faster to find out for yourself. Yeah, thanks. Where's Derg? If I have to. I think I get free bombs starting in uh, level two. Oh, I can't get them here. I think I've got. To, I think I have to have the shovel first. I think that's the joke. Fairy fountain. I can't believe I just did that. Alright, cool. Piece of power. And I was looking over at my dashboard. Whoops. Oh, yeah. Crazy Tracy's is over there. But I can't get there because I don't have a thing. The windfish is in name only, for it is neither 
Neither wind, nor fish, no shit, it's a whale. I just love to take pictures. Will you let me take your picture? Sure. Go to the back of the room and, uh, stand in front of the screen. Hey, I haven't taken your picture yet. Go to the back and stand in front of the screen. You can actually get an alternate picture one for, um, fucking with him. I'm pretty sure, at least. This here stands a brave man. Say cheese! What's your name, young man? Trout? Well, here's your album. Give it a look before you leave. Let's see if we can fill that album. I don't think we will. Okay, there's only 12? Yeah, this Game Boy printer thing. Um, there are some photos that I can't remember where you get them. So we're probably not going to be doing that. And if I remember correctly, I don't think it's possible to get all 12. Or maybe I'm misremembering. Who's this suspicious looking one? Okay, boys, let's get rid of him. Really easy to make quick work of these guys. You must be an assassin, Simple Madam Meow Meow, to rescue the mutt. You came here to get me, but it's I who'll get you. joke because you gotta have him rush the wall. Come on, fucker. Hi, pooch. You've saved Bow Wow! What a fearsome beast! And with the mutt, we can eat the uh, flowers around the swamp. And because we don't have the power bracelet yet, three guesses what the item at level two is. We have to go around. The neat thing about having Bow Wow is, um, he'll just randomly eat anything in range. Any one enemy in a single lunge. Think of the Chain Chomp from Mario 3, really. Because <clears throat> he's not entirely predictable, if that makes any sense. Oh, and, uh, wow, I... Pressed that to jump, but uh, apparently the game wasn't having it. I think there's a heart piece in that box. I hope so. Oh, never mind. I can't get into it. I'll just shut up now. Yeah, Bow Wow can, like, eat just about anything. Yeah, 
Damn it, Bowel. Eat the fucking... Po Thank you. Come on. Thank you. Oh, there was a piece... Uh, I guess it doesn't matter anyway. The, uh... Piece of power would have faded on entering the dungeon anyway. And I forgot I, what button I had the start button mapped to. Oh, whoops. And it doesn't really matter which or you do the um the block doors in because you'll always be able to have a new key at the end so and that was a pointless detour Stall night. Was a stall night. And, like I said, we can uh, get magic powder from uh, the floating things. Not the outcome I was expecting. Okay. Get yourselves this key. I'll remember this game eventually. Just your bare hands. Yeah, he's gonna say that every fucking time. Apparently, Shy Guy's face is comparable to a shield. I thought I had to kill those things. Oh, come on! I just barely touched the fucking thing. Leave me alone. Oh, okay. Oh, I need the boomerang to kill those things. Never mind. Why do I keep hitting the wrong fucking button? Do I have my Desmium control still on my fucking mind? No, this still doesn't make sense because, uh... The X button on my PS4 controller was my confirm. So maybe I'm just an idiot. There's no real reason to do that. Fuck! 
I think I might be dead, guys. Charge me, dickhead. Yep, I'm dead. Lovely. That happened. So much for the plan of uh, being... Well, I guess I wasn't going to be deathless anyway. Because the plan was to buy the shovel, steal the bow, and never go back to the shop. Well, I guess I guess... In, in that case, I probably would still be deathless. But uh, that actually fucked me out of one of the endings. Which is... Um, after you wake the windfish, then, um... There's a seagull that flies overhead after the credits. And if you manage to not die at all, it's Marin instead. Because of a passing comment she makes in one of the cutscenes where she's like, Oh man, I wish I could fly like on the wings of a seagull. Just a cute little thing that happens, but, eh. Guess it's not going to now. Because fuck me, right? Okay. I hate this fucking mini-boss. Oh. Didn't actually expect to hit him twice with a spin attack. Takes ten standard hit standard hits to kill his ass. Give me that, because that was bullshit that he fucking killed me the first time. Oh, oh, that's not where I thought that would take me. It is possible to kill the thing though. Which is what I was trying to do. Pretty sure you can kill it at least. Okay. That happened. Joy! Damn it! There it is. There's my power bracelet. Wrong button. Did it again. And now he's gonna stop whinging about the fucking things being heavy. Woo! That's gonna teach you. That's meant to teach you about a uh, mechanic you'll be using a lot later. And I mean a lot in, you know, the fact you'll be doing it a lot, and a lot in the sense that it is, you know, quite a distance into the game when you start doing it. Like level seven. Pulse voice. Which, given how the Game Boy didn't have a microphone feature, you know, they had to give you another way of uh, dealing damage to the fucking things. So let's just throw a pot. Oh. I don't even have the Nightmare Key yet. So, moot point... Damn it. Fuck you, Paul's voice. I 
I actually think in the case of if you st if you have the bow, you can still kill bulls and moose with it. I thought there was a thing in this room. Guess not. I think you're guaranteed a heart if you, uh, well, Goomba stomp the Goomba. Okay, so what the fuck was the point of that? Besides, there wasn't one. Okay, so there is a thing in this room. And it's the Nightmare Key. It's the only thing it can be. Yes, game, I can look at the bottom of the screen and see... Why do I keep doing that? If I'm not mistaken, this is a this is a room that confused the shit out of me when I was a kid. And it still confuses the shit out of me. Cause I don't remember what I have to do. Why do I not remember what I have to do here? Oh. That's my fast forward button. Why do we keep doing that? Oh, I think the joke is I have to kill everything with bottles. 
No? Oh, you have to kill him in order. It's an asinine puzzle, if you ask me, but... Kill the pool's voice. Kill the keys. And then the Stealthos. Yes, I looked it up on Zelda Dungeon. The shit like that is really obtuse. Granted, yeah, it said to use the oh, statue, but... When have I ever been good at following instructions? Sick of this music yet? Because I am. Oh. Yeah, can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle. Pick the fucking thing up, ass hat. Okay. Why he wouldn't pick the fucking thing up, I don't understand. Don't. Some of the shit in this game is like really fucking obtuse. That's not the solution. <laughs> I 
Okay, a shield doesn't help me either. I get it! Shut up! Broke my bottle! Like you make me hoppy mad! Don't know what that thing's supposed to sound like, but something tells me not that. Prairie, prairie, the prairie is waiting. Thanks, Bow Wow. Oh, hey, Tech Tite. Bootleg Tech Tite, but Tech Tite no less. do anything with that right now, but it's a fast travel portal. Uh, okay, that's an escape route. Well, I'll take that. That's right, the graveyard's over by the, uh, the witch's house that, um, gives me the magic powder. Walking in circles is fun, guys. What am I supposed to do here? I 
know I can get to that heart piece. But I think I need the hookshot for it. If I don't want to use a glitch, that is. Gravestones won't move for cowards. The thing is, uh, you're not allowed to be accompanied. That's what that means. I didn't even see that fucking crow. God damn it. There's a way that you can coerce her into selling it for cheaper. <coughs> God damn it. Should have played through this at least once before blind playing it. Huh. Yeah, that is a thing. <laughs> How about that? Learned about that from uh, watching Son of a Glitch. And can't do anything in here. Hey, kid, you woke me up from a fine nap. Thanks a lot. But now I'm gonna get my revenge. Are you ready? I'll let you carry more magic powder. <laughs> Are you ready? I'll let you carry more bombs. Sure. <laughs> you deserve it. Now look at all that junk you have to carry. Ha! Take care. See you again. And he didn't give me any bombs. Joke's on him, I wanted that. Why do I keep doing that? I think I can offload the dog now. Oh, 
Okay. That looks great. I'll call it Trailblazer Bow Wow. Now get closer to Bow Wow. Uh, Trail, get closer. Much closer. I'm ready. Smile. Kinda want the bow, so I mean I guess I've already blown it with the uh, amount of deaths, but I said I was gonna buy the shovel, so I'm gonna buy the shovel. Besides, I'm going to need the uh, bow for the next area anyway. Well, where I'm going to go in next, I should say. I wish there was a more reliable way to get money before the shovel. Eleven more fucking rupees. Not a single fucking rupee. I know, crazy to think that rupees grow in fucking bushes, but... I mean, where else would they come from? Besides, it's fucking dreamland, so who cares? Can I please just have my fucking money? Three more, come on. Two? Come on. You can do it. I know you can. One? 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 Thank you. Fucking A. Oh, now the bombs are available. Hmm. 
Yeah, for damn near the maximum in the game. We come over here. Are you proud of yourself? Guilting me for something the game let me do. Actually, I think I need bombs in the, uh, color dungeon anyway, so I think I'm gonna go back and get killed anyway. I mean, I've already been branded thief anyway. I wasn't kidding when I said you had to pay. Now you paid the ultimate price. Actually, from what I'm seeing here, it's a max of 14 hearts. You gotta pay. Put it back. So yeah, there's only 12 heart pieces in this game. Sixty. <laughs> oh, what happened was um the um, upgrade I bought overrode my default amount of bombs. I had 60 bombs, but the game wasn't showing them. This is going to be one of those I feel like a jackass moments, isn't it? Because this is going to be like 50 rupees. It is 50 rupees. Fucking A. I do feel like a jackass, because now I have nothing to spend them on. Aside from, uh, Crazy Tracy. There's seriously nothing else for me to spend rupees on. anyway. Oh, nice. Okay, let's go back to Mabe Village. Zim Zim Zimbies.
think the joke is that you're gonna knock the uh, thing down. Okay. I had the idea right. Yeah, you're not supposed to find out about how to enter the color dungeon until you can knock that book off the shelves, which is level three. So technically we're getting in that early. But that's a good thing. Because it basically makes the game a hell of a lot easier once you complete it. Fucking zombies! Way more aggressive than I thought they were. Holy shit. It's the witch's hut. Crazy Traces is up here, okay. Because I want to buy that first. I think it's based on the amount of health you have. doubling your maximum HP once. Okay, so you push this one south, this one west. Fuck you, Pose! Jesus, leave me alone. This one east, and then this one north. Our colors are never the same. If I am red, he is blue. If he is red, I am blue. Which color is my cloth? Don't tell anyone. Do you have the powder? If not, you must go back. Our colors are never the same. If I am red, he is blue. If he is red, I am blue. What color is my cloth? Don't tell anyone. The Fairy Queen is waiting for you. Yeah, the problem with this dungeon is everything hits like a fucking truck, and it doesn't help that I got eaten by the fucking pose outside. If you don't have the magic powder, you must turn back. Here, we're gonna give you some magic powder in the first fucking room. Yeah! Yeah, you have to turn all of these blue. Turning them red doesn't do anything. But basically what it is is you hit it, and it, uh turns the one you hit and all adjacent ones. As you uh, jump on those, it turns from green to yellow to red to uh, moot. Hit these things, pick them up, knock them into their respective color, and... Sizzle Palved. And there's not a whole hell of a lot I can do about the fact that my HP is low. At least the sound isn't loud and annoying like it is in Link to the Past.
That's all that took. Please give me a fairy. Thank you. No one a piece of power. Would have been nice to have. Uh, actually, I think the guardian acorn will help me quite a bit here. Also do it that way. Oh, come on. I'm telling you, you can uh, do one of these things. Four these what we're starting at. Hundred and forty rupees there. Can't go wrong with that. I'm no weakling. Your pitiful sword is no match for me. Is that so? Joke's on you, dickhead! This is the nightmare key. Yeah. And the nightmare of this dungeon is pretty shitty. If memory serves. Yeah, I'm fucking this up pretty bad. Thank you. 
think I might have it. No, I don't. There we go. This is why I was saying we we're gonna need that. I mean, we could have walked across it and just shot it, well, stabbed it, but whatever. Yellow is safe. Blue is caution. Red is danger. Blue is start over. Yellow is caution. Red is danger. Yellow is caution. Red is danger. Take your time. Okay, all I had to do was get him, get him to pin me in the corner, and, uh, bam. Fix that. Welcome, thief. I admire you for coming this far. I will give you the power of color. Which, if you want offense, choose red. If you want defense, choose blue. Which power do you want? Fucking red! Relax and close your eyes. You got the red clothes! Now your body's full of energy! I will now take you out. I mean, dinner first, please. Whoa! Big fucking thing! What was that about? Boink. This comes with a host of problems. I mean, it's not perfect having the red clothes. But it's a far sight better than, uh, you know, just accepting that everything's going to be able to hit you. I actually think you end up taking more damage with these clothes. But I think it's worth it. Okay, I can't actually do anything to those yet. I think there's more money in there. Money that I can't get until... significantly later. Or... Nah, because you can't walk through screen transitions with uh, rocks. Or anything in your hands, really. I think there's something here. Nope. Yeah, you really do need the, uh... Upgrade the sword to really do much of anything. What am I doing? Need the feather. the next dungeon now, so... Alright, there's a way that you can get... that you can basically fucking ignore this, but
There are five leaves in all. Yeah, this is where you need the shovel. He's a power that is absolutely useless to me. Because the red clothes are a permanent piece of power. And we can't do anything here. Martha's Bay. Can't break those. Need the uh, Pegasus shoes for that. Need the hook shot to get across the river. I have the spirit of the mansion. I have been waiting for someone to overcome the darkness. Find all the secret shells and go through the gate to receive the ultimate sword. The thresholds are 5, 10, and 20. <clears throat> I believe 5 and 10 are a bonus seashell, and 20 is the sword. village. Well, actually, back to the beach by the tail cave. Can't do anything in here yet. It's after the uh, color dungeon that the game stops whinging at you that, hey, you need the uh, power bracelet to lift these things. Pretty sure this is when I have to come down here because I, I have to get the, uh, I have to give the dog food to the alligator for the banana. And then the banana gets me the stick. And the stick gets me the honey. What's that you have? It's canned food. For heaven's sakes, man, give me that dog food. Please. It's hysterical. What do you do? Sure. Oh, thank you. I'll take that. That was great. I know it's not a fair trade, but here's some bananas. Yum.
Well, we're here. We might as well, uh... I think that's actually a secret seashell. Not, uh, money. That bring me to now five four okay like I said at five we can get another shell at ten we can get another shell and, then, and at any point twenty and beyond we can get um the fucking sword which is our ultimate goal Because the level so level two sword with the uh, red clothes is just fucking amazing. I have much other choice. No, I do. I do. Wow, that was worth it. Kiki. I do that. Oh, I just dropped a bomb. That's the way into the dungeon. There was a place that I could. That was obvious that there was a fucking buried shell.
I think there's something in there. I'm just trying to think. What interaction do I need to make? Do I need to pull on the face? Or I'm just going crazy. That could also be a possibility. But then again, going assumes I'm not already, so... I think the rest of them are all around the ground. I think I have to kill the fucking enemies to get them. I think one of them is under that rock. One's right here. Okay. game. Don't think it's expecting to have the shovel yet, so. I knew there was an interaction somewhere there. Why do I get the feeling there's one in here? Because I'm wrong. Could the crow have it? think so, but fuck it. Let's find out. Mm -hmm. 
There it is. There's only so many things you can do. Before you just run out of fucking options. There's one uh, seashell there. There we go. nothing over there. Pointless. That's nice. Give me seashells, I'll give you seashells. Ha 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 ha. Does that make sense? Eat sword through your eye. Richard is fucking leaves. Well, there's another shell. Took me in a fucking circle. Damn it. Damn it, no. Beneath your souls. Hello, tail key. Slime key. Whoops. 
whatever, key-shaped implement. I think I'm gonna do level three and then call it because I don't know. I just realized I need to do this. Apparently you can unlock it from behind, but... Eh. Seashell in the area above, but I need to swim to it. Mm. Yes, I even do this when I'm playing on the 3DS. Fuck you, Stelphos! Fucking bastard. button so that it buttons. Lovely. I sure wanted to hear the fucking music in this dungeon. Now it's gonna be for 20 fucking minutes.
That's when you're supposed to learn about the fact that you can bomb walls that aren't uh, visible. Wow, that was... Thank you! Finally! Fucking obnoxious fucking repetitive shit is over. That's a thing that you can do. Don't need that either. I mean, I guess it's not entirely true that the fucking piece of power is totally useless. I mean, it does give you faster movement, but it's a bit of a moot point, really. Damn it. That's a thing that happened. Can this thing wear off yet? Yeah, that's what's supposed to teach you that there's a bomb more wall there. Rock has a keyhole in it. Huh?
Yeah, that's how you find out you can kill those things. Thank you! Fucking A! Guess the joke is I have to ram the wall. Wow, he almost killed me. Let's see Lily's bell. Waterfall. It is hidden in the waterfall. But yeah, I th think that's a good time to stop. After the owl. How many instruments have you gotten so far? When you play the instruments in front of the wind of the egg, the wind fish will wake and you will leave this island. Now you must hasten to Yana Desert, where the dark, monstrous inhabitants of the sand will show you the way. But at any rate, I think that'll do it for me. I'm gonna see who's uh, alive right now, if anyone. Why did they block that Frank pay Z option? I mean, you just hover over your f fucking following. And yeah, no one's alive right now, so I think I'm just gonna cut it now. Thanks for coming out, guys.